amidst the ongoing resistance against judicial overhaul in Israel, a startling alignment of Russia, Iran, Turkey, and other nations is forming an alliance against Israel. But did you know that Jerusalem's past hides secrets recently uncovered by atheists? So, let's dive into this video today to learn the shocking discoveries atheists have made in Jerusalem, with the Pool of Siloam being one of them. The Pool of Siloam, known for the miraculous healing of a blind man by Jesus, has been veiled in mystery for nearly two zero years. Nestled in the city of David's ancient Jerusalem, this sacred site is undergoing archaeological exploration, soon revealing its hidden wonders to the world. Both Jews and Christians eagerly anticipate this revelation, recognizing its profound Dating back to the 700 years to the 8th century BC Jerusalem's ingenious water system burst the awe-inspiring pool of Siloam, fed by the life-giving waters of the Gion Spring. This reservoir became a crucial water source. A complex network of underground tunnels guided these precious waters, culminating in the creation of this serene pool. The ninth chapter of the Book of John narrates the biblical story of Jesus' healing immortalizing the pool in religious history. In the 5th century ad impress, Eudoshi embarked on a monumental project to commemorate New Testament miracles. This led to the construction of a splendid church believed to be situated at the Pool of Siloam. While Christians revered this church, the exact location of Jesus' original pool remained a mystery. In June 2004, archaeologists Ronnie Reich and Eli Shukran stumbled upon an astonishing find while repairing a water pipe in the city of David. Two ancient stone steps emerged, hinting at a bygone era. Delving deeper, they uncovered a vast pool that once teemed with life during Jesus' time. This trapezoidal marvel, 225 foot long with angled ends, gazed upon the Tyropean Valley, a spiritual oasis. The Pool of Siloam held profound significance beyond quenching physical thirst. It was a holy space for ritual purification, aligning with Jewish traditions. Some experts speculate it may have served as a Roman-style swimming oasis, offering relaxation and joy. As we unravel these historical layers, unanswered questions arise, inviting contemplation. The discovery of the Pool of Siloam resonates deeply with Christian theology. While atheists seek tangible proof, true believers find solace in faith. The Bible emphasizes justification through faith, not works. The pool's unearthing establishes a tangible link between biblical narratives and contemporary Christian lives. In Christian theology, water symbolizes cleansing. The pool of Siloam becomes a poignant symbol of baptism, embodying the essence of Christian rock. Further, it holds immense importance in Christianity, symbolizing the cleansing of sins through baptism, a spiritual rebirth that transforms believers. Linked to various Bible stories, it is a pilgrimage site and a cornerstone of the Christian faith. The miracles contained in its waters, and believers can find both historical and spiritual truths there, recognizing the pool as a vital aspect of Christianity. While believers find solace in faith, atheists seek tangible proof, acknowledging the power of belief that propels followers forward. The Pool of Siloam, as a testament to the deep mystery of wonders, urges exploration of the transformative power of spiritual experiences changing lives. It prompts reflection on accepting the miraculous and the profound impact of faith. Historical Roots From Jihan Spring to the City of David the Pools Origin Traces Back to the Holy Jihan Spring, Jerusalem's primary water source. King Hezekiah, safeguarding the city's water, orchestrated the construction of Hezekiah's Tunnel, redirecting the spring's waters to the southwestern edge of the city of David. This strategic shift ensured a stable water supply, fostering life in the city. Exploring the Canaanite Cave, an archaeological marvel in Jerusalem's heart, reveals a winding tunnel connecting the Gion Spring to the southern end, the famed Pool of Siloam. Built during the Middle Bronze Age, it showcases ancient engineering feats, evoking awe at our ancestors' determination and strength. The Canaanite Tunnel stands as a testament to their remarkable building skills. In 29 AD, Jesus, arriving in Jerusalem, conversed profoundly with the Pharisees. A pivotal moment unfolded when he met a man born blind. Demonstrating his healing prowess, Jesus instructed the man to wash in the pool of Siloam. This divine act 
recounted in the ninth chapter of the book of John, marked a transformative journey for the healed man. The Canaanite cave, an intricate tunnel, served as a watering system for lush farms in the Kidron Valley. Scholars debate its origin, with consensus placing its construction in the Great Canaanite period. The tunnel's ingenious design, featuring strategically placed outlets, facilitated water distribution for farming. It stands as a testament to ancient water resource management. Further, the Canaanite tunnel's clever design, meticulously carved from solid rock, reflects a level of planning and building skill that astound. The tunnel's purposeful construction, shifting water from Gehan Spring to nourishing fields, underscores the ancients' profound understanding of water resources and unwavering dedication to farming. Hezekiah's tunnel, built later to augment water systems, reflects an evolution in response to new needs. The Canine Cave, likely predating Hezekiah's tunnel, showcases early mastery in water management. Together, healings underscore the profound impact of Jesus' unlimited healing power. The events at these pools where Jesus restored sight and healed paralysis exemplify his compassion for both physical and spiritual well-being. Biblical Kingdom's legacy, recent archaeological Endeavors near Jerusalem reveal a captivating palace believed to be from the time of the biblical Jewish kingdom. The site is positioned in the East Talpiot area and showcases intricate carved stone buildings and artifacts, including three ornate stone capitals. These findings puzzle researchers as they contemplate the intentional burial of these valuable items, possibly dating back to the 8th or 7th century B. C. The Canaanite Tunnel a remarkable ancient waterway in Jerusalem raises questions about its origins. Built during the Middle Bronze Age, the tunnel served as a watering system for lush Kidron Valley farms. Its ingenious design, strategically distributing water, reflects advanced engineering principles. The tunnel's existence challenges skeptics, offering a tangible link to the past. The city of E. David, a pivotal site in ancient history, evokes debates and skepticism. While atheists question biblical narratives, recent discoveries affirm the city's existence. A palace's remnants overlooking the temple, Mount Point to the opulence of ancient Israelite. The city's significance, woven into religious texts, becomes an enduring testament to historical truths. Inscriptions on a stone stela, possibly ordered by King Hazel of Aram, bring forth a revelation. The engraving mentions Isaiah of the House of David, linking the city directly to King David's lineage. This discovery, written in a Hebrew-like language, challenges skeptics and adds credence to the Davidic Kingdom's historical authenticity. As discoveries challenge established narratives, atheists grapple with contradictions, acknowledging the need for careful scrutiny. Recent findings, including the inscription referencing Isaiah and David's lineage, force a reevaluation of historical skepticism. The evidence demands an exploration of alternative perspectives, fostering an environment where doubts and beliefs coalesce. Exploring ancient ruins and forgotten histories unravels the mysterious tapestry of our shared human journey. Each discovery opens the heart of our heritage, encouraging a deeper understanding of past cultures. History, a repository of echoes from diverse civilizations, invites us to embrace the complexities and mysteries that define our collective existence. In navigating the Pool of Siloam, the City of David, and other historical revelations, contradictions emerge, inviting contemplation. While skeptics confront challenges and believers find affirmation, the journey through ancient ruins transcends individual perspectives. It compels us to acknowledge the richness of humanity's past, fostering a nuanced understanding where doubt and belief coexist. So what do you think of the terrifying discovery in Jerusalem? Comment below and subscribe for more.